An issue that we often see in China is people dealing in stereotypes. They very quickly put people into boxes. Um, but a very similar issue that we see is where people judge other people by their own standards. Uh, and I'm not talking about moral standards, I'm talking about their interests, what's fun for them, what would motivate them, um, what would inspire them to do things. And we have to remember that not all people are the same. We need to think about who we're dealing with to, to, uh, to be able to provide the right motivation or, in this case, activity that they're after. So, as an example, um, a while ago I got a phone call from a, a PA who uh, I've known for years, um, a very intelligent, uh, mid 20 year old girl, very professional, uh, who is the PA for a very senior uh, German manager. She'd received a phone call from him asking her to arrange a day for him and his fellow senior management uh, team. He'd asked her to arrange a morning of meetings, which were to be very serious meetings, and then in the afternoon a fun activity so that they could relax after the the serious meetings. She wasn't sure what to arrange, so she'd rung around some of her friends. As it turned out, one of her friends had recently come back from what she called a fun activity. And that fun activity was going to the north of Beijing and fruit picking with a group of friends. The problem here is that she was asking another Chinese girl in her mid-twenties what her idea of a fun activity was and then considering applying it to a German guy who was in his 50s. It's possible they would have the same interests, but the chances are very slim. The reason for her calling me was just to check, as a, an older Western guy, just to double check, fruit picking. It's meant to be a lot of fun. Would you enjoy it? I had to answer honestly and say no. After a morning's meetings, particularly high-level, high-pressure meetings, I want to unwind, and given that she'd been asked to provide a fun activity, this wouldn't be a relaxed glass of wine, this would be something more active, something very different to the sedentary morning that they'd already had. Now, it turned out that on the outskirts of Beijing, there's a, a firing range where, for a fee, you can uh, fire various types of weapons. Um, I suggested this to her, she checked it out, uh, and booked it. She contacted me two weeks later. Uh, she was very happy. Uh, it turned out the Germans had said that they'd never had so much fun in China and that going to the shooting range was the perfect antidote to the serious morning's meetings.